In this video, we're going to look at using the filter function in Microsoft Excel when we have a range list criteria for that filter. So before I begin, one thing I want to point out is that the filter function is only available in Excel 2021 or with Office 365 subscriptions. So in this example, we have a list of orders and our criteria column is going to be these client name columns. Over here, we have our range criteria list. So we want to perform a filter where our criteria is this range list right here and produce the output over here. So how the filter function works is it looks for true, false, criteria anytime there's a match based on the criteria it produces a true and that is included in the filter so as you know in excel the numerical equivalents of true and false are ones for true zeros for false so what we're going to do is to the right of our criteria range we're going to add ones and that will indicate a true value numerically and inside our filter, we're going to use the XLOOKUP to perform a lookup on our criteria column and return one anytime there's a match. So we're going to insert the filter function. The first input is the array we want to filter on. That's going to be this entire range here. So I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. You can see those dollar signs in front of the column and row references mean that range is fixed. So now in our second input, our criteria is where we're going to insert the X lookup function. Our lookup value is actually going to be this range, our criteria column of client names. Again, I'm going to lock that down. Our lookup array is going to be our criteria range here. I'm going to lock that down. The return array that we want to pull back is going to be this range of ones, which represent trues. Want to lock that down as well. And now for this fourth argument of the X lookup what we want to return if no match is found we want to return zero because that will indicate a false that no match is found and that is the opposite of one anytime there is a match so that should be everything we need and now when i hit enter you can see this produces filter results with just those three clients now i can change this to a different client here if I want you can see it updates automatically now if we want to sort this we can easily nest this inside the sort function and the first input is our array which is the output of our filter so we already have that first argument so now we have the columns or indexes we want to sort by so what I want to sort by is first by client name and then secondary by order date. So we have an array of columns we want to sort by. So I'm going to enclose this inside curly brackets. So we first want to sort on column four and then secondary sort by column two, the date. So remember to close that with an ending curly bracket when I hit enter, you can see now it's sorted first by the client name and second by the order date. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.